Hi, welcome to One Grass Engine. All the grass you see here is created right inside Unreal Engine without using any other external software. So yeah, basically we created this grass using a plugin in Unreal Engine. That plugin is called One Grass Engine. Even though I'm using a lot of grass in this scene, my frame rate is over 80 frames per second and it's really great. And I can show you my uh, landscape grass type file. See here, frame rate is uh, lower because I'm using 200% screen presentation. That's a different thing. All right, let me open my landscape grass type file. Here, as you can see, my cull distance is around 10,000 units. I can show you I have a huge lot of grass over all those place places. And the reason that I can use this amount of grass in my scene is because these grass are extremely low poly, even though they are beautiful. I can show you some of the static mesh. Clearly, this is the LOD0. You can see it's around 216 triangles. I can go further. You can see now the LODs are active and you can see the triangle count is just 26 triangles. So that's why we can have a huge amount of grass in this scene without worrying about performance. Right now, let's try to create some grass. All right, first we need to install the One Grass Engine plugin from the marketplace. Have a look at somewhere on the screen to get the link for that plugin. Also, check the description for the non commercial version as well as how to get this for UE5. After that, go to Edit, Plugins, and search for One Grass. And make sure you enable the one grass engine plugin for your project right then let's try to open the example map and try to see how it works open your content browser and, and click this view options button and make sure you enable the show engine content and show plugin content right then go to the search box of the content browser and search for one grass and then you'll see this one grass engine content directory click that and here we have the atlases and the example directory and go to the example directory and open this example map. So that's the same map that I showed earlier. You can play the game and you can go through uh, this grass and see how they're working. All right, now let's try to create some grass right inside Unreal Engine. In order to do that, go to the place actors and search for one grass. So here we have a actor called one grass card maker. Drag that into your scene. All right, then you'll have something like this and go to the details panel and the first thing is segmentation we need to segment the atlas so how, how we can get these atlases right now we shift with a couple of atlases in this uh, example content but you can get atlases from all other places including quixel mega scans so here i'm using the slender atlas so i'm going to drag my opacity texture over here and the base color over here and the normal and roughness just like this and then i'm, I'm going to hit this segment now button Right, then it will segment all these individual items. Then I can align them into the center so I can, I, I can easily scatter them. So I can hit this show next segment button and I can go through all these items. So I can uh, use the shift, rotate and scale parameters to align this into the center. But if you try to do it by hand, it will take some time. So that's why we have this auto transform all button. Just click that. So it will transform all these items into the center. But there's one uh, little thing that you have to do. So in this case, my segment is flipped upside down. The reason is this algorithm cannot uh, automatically identify the top and the bottom. It will be a little hard. In this case, we can intervene. So all I have to do is just click this flip checkbox and then hit auto transform again. And you have your card flipped here correctly. Right then, now we have individual segments. So the next step is to scatter them. And there are some uh, options available here. You can check the description for the whole documentation for how to use these uh, settings. But right now I'm going to increase the number of uh, points that I want to scatter. Let's say 25 points. And I need to have two rows. And I'm going to simply hit the scatter now button. Right now we have uh, something like this. I can try again to get a different variation. I think I like this one. So I can keep this and then I can hit the next button called make single card, right? Then out of those scattered texture, then I, I have this uh, single card of a grass that you can see. And yeah, it looks great, right? Having a single card is not enough. You need to have some sort of cluster. See, so easy to do and select the one grass card make again from the world outline and go to the uh, next section, create card maker. I'm going to hit this. And there are some existing uh, settings on how to make the card cluster, but you can check the description on, or you can experiment on how to create more items into the cluster or change some behaviors. I can play the game and I can go through this grass. And I think, yep, yeah, this is something I, I like to have. So now it's time to create the static version of this grass. So I can use these, all the existing grass related tools in Unreal Engine. Again, I'm going to select my actor. Scroll a little bit down and we have the bake mesh section. So here now I can give some directory name to store. Now I think I need to give a directory called grass slash let's say one. 
Then I'm gonna hit the bake mesh button. Then I can go to my content directory. You can see there's a grass directory and inside that grass directory, we have one directory. That's why we mentioned here slash. And then now we have the static grass over here. Now I can double click on this static mesh. I can see it by default, it has only one LOD. So it has around like 216 uh, triangles. All right. Now we can try to produce this triangle and create more LODs. Quite simple here on the LOD setting section and change the LOD group into foliage. I think it's better to have four LODs. Then I can hit apply changes. Instantly we now have four LODs. Now I can go move further and you can see the LODs are changing. I think the fourth LOD, the LOD three has of 26 triangle and that looks great. All right, now we have created our grass as well as we have created LODs. Now it's time to go to file and save all. Now we have saved every uh, texture and everything we have here. And also now we have the material instance over there and there are some settings here as well. You can change them and create variation and there are, and even we support RVTs and you can go through all these uh, things and try to change this uh, grass further. And also you can always check the documentation to refer how to do all these things. All right, now we have created grass right inside the Unreal Engine uh, within a couple of minutes. And this is just the start. Uh, we will uh, have a huge amount of things to do. For example, we will have mesh based grass and also we have some sort of realistic wind system. We will have some interaction with, with the player and there are so many things to come. Uh, try to check the roadmap for the upcoming features. I think this will be useful and you can get the plugin and try it yourself. All right, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.